Hey, what's up, everyone? Voss Kadop, this is Valoramas, and today's music producer tutorial, we're going to talk about ways to optimize strain on your CPU or central processing unit. So in today's video, I will show you my top four methods for reducing strain on my CPU. And those four methods are to increase the input-output buffer size, to use freeze tracks, to bounce tracks in place, and then also to use the sends or bus effects. So we'll get into Logic Pro 10.5, and I will show you these four methods, how I reduce strain on my CPU. So the first method for reducing strain in your CPU is to increase the input-output buffer size. And you do this by going to the Logic Pro tab, then Preferences, then Audio. And from Audio, you increase the buffer size to 1024 and then check Apply. Now, I already had it on 1024, but what this is doing is this is increasing the time that your digital audio workstation project file gathered its thoughts before spitting back out that audio. So this will reduce strain in your CPU. My second favorite method for reducing strain in your CPU is to use the freeze tracks function. So if you have a track that's totally done and you anticipate making no more changes, you can freeze the track and this will create an audio file of that track. So you right click, then go to track header components, then hit freeze. And this brings up this icicle or snow looking symbol. You check that. And then when you hit play or space bar, it'll take some time to process, but it'll process that track as an audio file. And that will definitely reduce strain on your CPU. My third favorite method for reducing strain on your CPU is to use the bounce and place function or BIP. So just like freeze tracks, this creates an audio file, but differing from the freeze tracks function, this creates a separate track with that audio file. So it just gives you more options for applying more effects and plugins on top of that. So if you have a track that's completely done and you want to bounce certain sections in place, you merely right click, then hit bounce in place. Hit OK. And then this creates a separate track with the audio file of that bounce of that section. So this is also in particular helpful if you're collabing with someone and someone doesn't have, or the other partner in the collaboration project does not have the same plugins or effects that you have, you can use this and then still get the message across to the other partner that you're working with. My fourth and final method for reducing strain on your CPU is to use the bus or send effects to the maximum extent possible. So a lot of times with reverb or delay, I will use these buses and then you may just dial in how much reverb or delay or another effects or plugin chain. And this will reduce the amount of plugins you have to stack on top of tracks because it makes more sense to just use one plugin chain rather than a whole series of plugin chains. So not only is this reducing strain in your CPU, but it's also saving you time and economizing your workflow as well. And there you have it. That's my four methods for reducing strain in your CPU. And if I am missing something or I forgot something, please leave it in the comments below. And if you like this content and like to see more, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.